Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tour review is going to be a product by Sigmund. This is not my first go around with them. I've also reviewed their three plane laser. And if I'm being honest, out of all the three plane lasers that were given to me that I didn't purchase with my own money, this one's my most used. And it's not that it's more accurate or better performing maybe than the others. It's primarily due to its size. Uh, you can see it there in the palm of my hand. It's extremely compact. That makes it fit my pack out drawers in my truck, which means it's the most accessible to me. So I grab this one most often. I've also found it to be extremely accurate. I'd have no problem recommending that to somebody else if they were looking for a three-plane laser. But just as they sent me that, they also sent me what I'm talking about today, and that is their laser distance meter. It's the CD60. Now, this is a laser distance meter or laser distance measure, however you want to call it. I've normally ran Bosch products of these in the past. I still have two sitting here. I've even had previous versions of that. And whenever I first got into the laser distance measure, I bought it primarily for estimating, you know, to go in and figure out how much floor, you know, this rough idea, how much drywall, all those kinds of things. But over time, I have found them to be accurate enough that I have no problem using them for long trim. I feel like it's more accurate than me extending a tape measure over a long period of time. But this Sigma one's a little bit different than those in that it is bilateral. That means it has two lasers, not just one. It shoots a laser out of the front and the back that that helps you maybe in some certain situations that i'll talk about today and i didn't even know that bilateral laser measures like this existed there's a couple more products out there that are very similar i've even got another one on its way that i'll be reviewing soon but let's go ahead and dig into this sigmon let me show you what you get in the box if you purchase this how much it costs all those things the features that it has and then talk about why you might want something like this compared to the laser distance measure that you already own so let's talk about what you get in that box but first of all let's talk about how much that box is going to cost you so on amazon it's going to run you 99 dollars they also have a 15 dollars off coupon right now so you're looking at 85 dollars i don't know if that coupon is there all the time if it changes all those kinds of things but if you open that box you get this case it's one of those hard slash soft cases i always refer to that as like a sunglass case to me not a lot of things inside the box or inside the case Again, it didn't come packaged like this. I've already had it out and been using it. You're going to start off with your laser distance measure here. So that's the one thing that you're going to get inside of there along with a USB-C charging cable. So yes, it is USB-C. I know a lot of you really like that. Uh, it just plugs into the side of the device right here. As you plug it in on this screen, a battery will come up and flash while it's charging. And then once it's fully charged, that battery turns solid to let you know that it's charged. You do not get the charging block, but that seems to be standard these days. It seems like everybody just gives you a cord anymore, but it is USB-C. And then inside the case, you're also going to get some instructions. Fairly thick booklet. Has a lot of ways to use the different modes and things like that. So that's something that you probably want to keep up with because it's you're going to want to maybe use a mode at some point in time that you don't typically use. You're not going to remember how to do that. And then mine also came with this handle or wristlet. This will actually be on the laser when you get it out of the box. I took mine off because it loops right here and hangs down here. Many other measures have it. You can see one on here. I didn't take it off this Bosch, even though I don't normally really use that much. I don't wrap it around so that if I drop it, but it doesn't matter on this one because the laser only shoots this way. Whereas on this one, I found that as I had it there, every now and then it would droop around here and get in the way, block that laser. So I just went ahead and took mine off. I don't typically use it anyways, but for the most part, that's about it. That's all that you get in the box. Now let's go ahead and go over some of the features with the tool itself. So to get into the features, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it on by holding down this measurement button. The screen is going to come up. Again, it's a color screen. And it's got nine different modes. And for the most part, you're going to hit this function key. Your modes are going to come up. And that's going to start out with on length. And that's the one that you're primarily going to use. That's going to measure from point A to point B, whether it's from this end out or from both ends to each wall, whatever it is, however you're using it. And then as you scroll back and forth, left to right, you can see those arrows. We're going to go through the other eight. One of them is wall area. The next one is angle and height. The fourth one is indirect height. The fifth one is hypotenuse. Then you get into double indirect height. And then you get into auxiliary height measurement. Then area. And then volume. And then back to length. And, and what all those are, are their modes in which that does calculations for you. So again, you know whether or not you use those things, if it's important to you. Uh, if you're interested in one particular, 
uh, comment down below and maybe I can help explain to you how you might would use it or someone else can in the comments below. But I don't want to make this video extremely long and sit there and show you how to do every single one of those. Because nine times out of ten, we may not ever use but maybe two features a piece and they might be two different ones just based on the work that we do. But for example, the second feature is wall area. And what that's going to do is that's going to ask you to shoot the height of your area first. So if you're going into a house that has all 10 foot ceilings, and then you want to know the square footage of the walls and things like that. Maybe you want to know how much paint you need or how much drywall or something like that. It's going to ask you to shoot the height first. And if it's always going to be 10, you shoot that height. And then you just go around and shoot walls. And it's going to slowly give you the amount of space on those walls that you need to cover. Again, whether it's with drywall, paint, whatever it is, it just automatically does those calculations for you. Or you can go back to length and write those things down yourself if you don't trust it to do that and do it yourself. But again, it's just all those things are basically calculators built in to give you the information that you might want. So you've got nine different modes, but then on top of that, you've got different ways to get those measurements. You can see right here, my arrows are going both directions. And then over to the far left, you can see that it is measuring off the center of this device. I can hit this button here. And I can change after I get out of the function. I actually got to pick a function first. So let's go to select length. And then now I'm going to go to here. And I'm going to select which way I'm measuring. Right now I'm measuring using this laser off of the back side of this laser. So right now I'm measuring from here this direction. If I press it again, I'm measuring from here that direction. Now I'm measuring off the face here that direction. And then now I'm again measuring bilateral and measuring off the center of the device so then whenever i get into selecting my length measurement and then i go in and i press that button it's going to shoot a laser as you can see here on my hand hopefully you can see that and it picks that up and then over there by the wrench you can see another laser and then i can get that measurement at that point by selecting those things so again it's just a way for you to measure different things and again i'm going to show it to you in use i'm just going through the features of it right now but the fact that it is gives you those nine modes, USB charging. It allows you to measure from multiple places on the device itself. I think that's pretty nice. Now let's go ahead and dig into some of the other features. Another one of its features is the backside here is magnetic. I've got a box cover here. You can see as I stick that there, really strong snap. It is not going to come off there. So if you work in metal studs on scaffolding or if you've got a, a toolbox that you roll around, you could slap this on the side for easy access. I don't know that it will be extremely usable, more so than for storage, but it's a nice feature that it's there. It's better than not having it. I think that that is a nice touch that they did that. Uh, it also has a rotating screen. You can see as I've got it here, uh, the numbers are in that position, but as I turn it, the screen will also change to whatever direction that I'm looking at it. But say you have it in a position where you want it to stay the same, you can hold down this plus minus button and it will lock that screen to now whenever I turn it, it stays on whatever screen that I had it on. So you can choose whether you want it locked, whether you don't want it locked. Another one of its features, if I unlock that, is that I can also measure in many different ways. Right here, I'm at feet with two decimals. And that same button that I used before to change where I'm measuring from, you can see it's got U over to the side, which means units. If I press and hold that, now I'm on meters with three decimals, hold it again, meters with two decimals, hold it again. I'm inches with one decimal. Here I'm just inches. So that would be if you like your measurements instead of say six foot two, you want it to be 74 inches, it would show you 74 inches or you can hold it again and it's going to give you feet and inches. So this would say six foot two inches. So you, whichever way you like to get your measurements, I actually prefer to get inches so that whenever I go and pull a tape measurement on a board that I'm cutting, I'm actually looking for that same number. It just saves me some hassle sometimes. But one of its last features that you're gonna see is that it does show you the angle in which this device sits. And that doesn't matter if it's this way. So right now I'm close to 90, I'm at 89.6. And if I turn it, tilt it back, it's gonna slowly go in the 80s and go back to zero if I lay it flat. Or if I come this way, it's going to go in the 80s and go back to zero until it's flat but i can also turn it this direction and you can see now i'm at zero and as i turn it you can see those degrees change so it's also kind of like 
a digital level and that little ball that's yellow right there as I get close to zero you're gonna see it goes green to show you level and then it kind of moves in the direction and goes yellow to red as that goes away as well I will say that the response time of it is not quite the same as my Empire laser uh, but it is very much close to being the same in the amount of measurement that it gives you you can see I'm at zero and it goes from zero to point 0.1. Hopefully you can see that. I'd have to zoom in here. So the, the distance is very much pretty close to the same thing. If I stick something under this and we'll get my empire level to say 6.6, .6, I'm also showing 6.6 .6 here as well. So it appears to be just as accurate as my empire digital le uh, level and I have found that to be extremely accurate. So again, it does have a digital level that you can use it's a little slow in its response, but if you don't already own a digital level, you could possibly use this for that. You know, stick it on certain things, see where you're at. And again, it's always gonna be up there in that corner, but if you go to angle plus height function, it kind of puts it down here on the bigger screen so that you can see that number uh, a little bit better. I've got it locked in right now, so that's why that number's not changing with that. Uh, but again, it's just a nice feature. I think it's a good add-on to have that. Some of your Bosch's, and things like that are also going to have that same feature. This one has it as well. If I go into my functions, you can see there's even a little level over there that I can scroll over and go to, and it kind of does the same thing. You know, it works in the same way. So some laser measures out there have had this feature, but not all of them do. I, I'm glad that they added it onto this one. So you might ask yourself, why would I need a bilateral laser measure over that of a standard? Well, there's a couple of reasons that came to my mind. There may be more than that. Let us know in the comments below if you can think of something else. But one of the things I thought is center of the room. Now, center of the room, I could obviously measure with the standard one. Let's say it's a 40-foot long room. I shoot that wall. It says 40 feet. I get my tape measure out. I measure over 20 feet. There you go. I've got it. But what if the room is really large? Well, this thing measures up to 393 feet or 120 meters is what it says. I haven't shot it that far. I think 87 is the longest that I've shot with it. I think it would be hard to see that laser at 393 feet. But let's say I've got a 100-foot room, 50 foot's my center. I don't have a 50-foot tape with me. All I got is a 25. I have to pull 25 feet, make a mark, pull another 25 feet. If I'm working by myself, that means I got to try to hold my tape on that exact 25 feet mark and all those kinds of things that go along with that. Whereas with this one, I can hit, turn it on. I got it in length mode. I got it measuring both directions. Now, if I hold down this measurement button, it's going to shoot continuous mode. It's going to give me the measurements on both sides of the laser. So now I can set it between my cup and also my Klein Tools thing there. Let me see if I can get you zoomed in on it. So it's lined up in between both of my two points. I can see I'm eight foot and three eighths off to the left hitting my Klein mug. And then I'm also 10 feet and seven sixteenths off to my right hitting my Morgan's maintenance mug. So then I can just sit there and continually move that to make my right less and my left more until I find that center point. Now, is that going to be cumbersome to do that? Yes, because you're moving at a small amount of time at a time, and it's going to take you a little while to get that. But it's an option whenever you don't have any other option. You can sit there and move both of those and slowly change that. So now I'm at 9 and 7 eighths and 8 and 7 eighths. I'm going to need to move over about an inch more. Now I'm at 9 and a quarter and 9 and a half. So I'm going to need to move just a fraction more. And I should be getting closer to center. And then my beeps change too as you get closer. So now I'm at nine and five sixteenths and nine and three eighths. So again, that comes into play in a bigger room. It's not so much that I need to know what half of an inch and one foot six inches is, but now I can find the center of a hundred foot room and keep playing with it until I get to that point and then make a mark off of my little white mark that I have up here on my wall or whatever it is between these two points. So the center of a room might be something that this would be helpful for. And then the last thing and the most useful thing about one of these is to me that it gives you the overall measurement of both places that you're shooting. So I'm getting the overall of this device and the laser shooting this way and that way. And there's going to be times where you can't get the flat side of your standard laser measure that only shoots one way. I have to put this against something and shoot all the way to whatever wall I'm going to to get that overall measurement. Well, with this one, whether there's something in my way, I don't have access, whatever it might be. Say I'm working off a scissor lift and I need to put something at a certain height, I could take one of these and 
figure out exactly where I am from the ceiling and the floor at the same exact time. Maybe I'm working trying to figure out what the height is from the bottom of a hole to the ceiling. I can't stick this down in a 12 foot hole and press a button because I can't get down in there. But I could shoot one laser to the bottom of the hole, one laser to the ceiling, get my overall measurement. Or maybe there's times where I'm in a room where I got to measure between the overall distance of a wall, but I can't get access to get that up against the wall on one side and shoot all the way across. Here I can pick pretty much anywhere in that whole entire wall, shoot both directions, get my overall measurement. Now I'm able to get that. That's something you can do with a bilateral that you're not going to be able to do in certain times with your standard tape, uh, with your standard laser measure. Now again, the centering thing, I think that's nice. I can see times where that's going to be useful on large rooms but it is kind of cumbersome to sit there and try to get that exact center sitting there moving back and forth because it's fractional how, how fast it moves. It's got a little bit of a delay, but those are the two main things that I see using it for. But again, let me know in the comments below if you can think of something else in your line of work that shooting a laser out of both directions, getting that overall measurement, how that would be useful to you. So yeah, guys, that is the Sigmund CD60, their laser distance meter or laser distance measure. Again, remember it's bilateral. That's different than maybe what you've already got. Maybe that's useful to you. Maybe it's not. Only you know the answer to that. But comment down below if you think it would be useful to you. Or maybe you've even got another scenario that I didn't think of that you could use this for. Uh, comment that down below as well to help other people know when they might would need something like this. And again, in that comment, if you want to win one of these, make sure and put hashtag Sigmund in your comment. If you do not put hashtag Sigmund, and I do that comment generator, I'm going to do that next Saturday. Um... If it hashtag Sigmund is not in it, I will pick another comment until I find one with hashtag Sigmund. So make sure you put that in your comment if you want to be in the drawing to win that, and then I'll get that sent out to you. But I hope this was useful in some way. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Stay safe. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video.